Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and this is the announcement trailer for Lost in Random the Eternal Die. Now not die like, well maybe actually, um, but you know like a little die guy. Uh, I actually really liked the first game. I never finished it sadly, um, but I got like maybe like six or seven hours in. Um, so I got pretty far. I don't think the game's like super, super long, but I really, really enjoyed the, uh, like card combat system that they had in there. I thought that was really unique. Uh, I thought the world itself was really unique and really odd and funny. Uh, I really liked the game. I, sh I should have finished it. Maybe I'll go back and like restart it. It's on switch. I think switch would be a perfect place for that game. Uh, cause I got it on Xbox when it first came out. I was really excited for it. I remember. Uh, and, uh, just like a lot of games, I didn't finish it. But I get, hey, I, I paid for it. You know, I supported. I supported. Anyway, so now it's a different developer because I think, who, was it THQ that did the first one? THQ Nordic? Hold on. I need to see. I just put one. Uh, it was, was it THQ? No, it was, oh no, it was still Thunderful. Why don't I remember THQ? It was, oh no, it was EA. That's right. It was EA. That's right. It was one of their, um, what was it called? The EA Originals? Is that what it's called? Anyway, it doesn't say here. So, uh, yeah, they get good reviews. Uh, damn, that was 2021. That's crazy. Yeah, sequel title Lost and Random, The Eternal Die is in development. Thunderful de uh, development. Zoink. Oh, did Zoinks shut down? I didn't know that. Oh, no. Okay, it didn't shut down. It was integrated into Thunderful development. Okay. So it, is, it got shut down, but they didn't lose their jobs, it seemed like. They only had 25 employees, released a new game fee. Oh, yeah, I heard that that game was our... Uh, actually, I heard that game was pretty good. Awesome. Huh? Now called Merge... Okay, so they're fine. Okay, cool. All right, anyway, let's watch this. So let's go. I'm, I don't know if anybody got let go. It doesn't say anything on Wikipedia about them not getting let go. So that's cool. At least they're still around. So, and they may, they may, they're making this one. So it's the same people, just a different name. Anyway, let's go. Three, two, one, play. Yeah, little buddy. Presenting the next chapter in the world of random. I've lost it, random. Whatever. Oh, oh, whoa, wait, what? Oh no, this is to wait, what? Oh, it just became Hades. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, this looks pretty good. I. I think random. I'm not dead, fortune. A dice wheel. Oh, luck has finally huh. turned. Anyway, we'll get happy. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're going for the Hades. Not that Hades invented this style of gameplay, but. Okay. I mean, it looks really good. I'm a little disappointed it didn't have the card count. <laughs> I really like that gameplay. Okay. It still looks oh, so coming to Game Pass. Okay, cool. All right, that looks really good. Either way, I'm not going to lie. I was a little uh, a little disappointed that it wasn't that. Because I expected, I, honestly, I was expecting to see more, like, options for the card combat. Because I really liked that. I really did. But, oh, yeah, I heard this was fucking embarrassingly bad. Um, oh, my God. This is one of my favorite skits. Uh. One of my favorite Mad TV skits of all time was the Sopranos one. It's so good. Anyway, bizarre outrage. What? Unfair criticism with the what? Your dog shit movie that made no money. Sorry. Um. Anyway, yeah, I just wasn't expecting that. I mean, it looks really good. That looks like a really good like Haiti style like rogue like most likely action game. Um, maybe it won't be. It might just be straight up single player kind of just go through. But they had the shops here and there, so I'm thinking. It will be like roguelikes. I don't know. Um, so, I mean, it's cool. This is the second time I'm watching a sequel to a game that's changing up its gameplay. This and Greedfall both are changing up their gameplay, which is cool. Hey, I actually rather a sequel change up its gameplay rather than just do the same gameplay again. You know what I mean? Um, not That's not saying I have a problem with if there's the gameplay is the same in a sequel. But what I mean is, like, if the gameplay hasn't really been touched at all. Like, say, like, a Last of Us Part Two, Now you can you can go prone, but for the most part, it's the same 
you're still doing the same stuff. You know, there's not a lot of new stuff in that. Um, you know what I mean? So, not that I want, like, Last of Us Part 2 to be an RTS or some shit, but <clears throat> it'd be a Hades or Glick. That'd be kind of fun. Anyway, so yeah, wow. I was like, whoa, all right, damn. Uh, it looks cool, though. Graphically, it looked great, also. Um, so, that's it. Lost in Random, The Eternal Die. Maybe this one will uh, pop off a little bit uh, better. I'm assuming the first one did well if it got a sequel. So, even if they had a mer they merged stuff, and EA said, fuck that. But EA doesn't deserve good games anyway. <laughs> anyway that's it. <laughs> Sell all your good franchises to other studios, please, EA. God damn. Same thing with Ubisoft. Actually, same thing with most companies. Fuckers.